With the new 3D Point Cloud Viewer, you have the possibility to easily and quickly display projects of any size. You can check the registration if necessary. In addition, the new Point Cloud Viewer offers many new features. After opening a project, we activate the 3D Point Cloud Viewer by clicking the 3D button. First of all, we see all the scan positions contained in the project. When you click on the home icon in the upper left hand corner, the parameter window appears in which we can adjust all the settings. In the field below, we can see the checkboxes to select included scans in the project. In this case, divide it into two clusters. Once the clusters have been expanded, you can individually select scans as required. After selecting the entire cluster, the level of detail is automatically calculated for the selected 17 scans. We select all scans in the second cluster. They will also be instantly added to the current calculation and the LOD will be calculated for all 41 scans. After all scans have been calculated, we get an entire 3D point cloud view of the project. We can also subsequently black out the point clouds that are not necessary. In this case, the point clouds from the interior of the house. If we also deactivate the cluster with the external scans, these point clouds are also hidden and we can, for example, only activate the internal scans. If required, the field of view can also be changed, for example, to adjust the image section in large projects. We can also set the size of the points by changing the setting from adaptive to fixed. In order to navigate in the 3D point cloud view, we can zoom in or out with the mouse wheel or rotate the complete view by click and holding the right mouse button. Certain details of the project can be better presented by activating only those point clouds that are relevant to the area. The level of detail can also be adjusted afterwards to relieve the graphic card. This way, fewer points are displayed and less processing power is needed. In order to display only a certain vertical area of the point cloud, we can specify the exact heights in which the point cloud should be visible. For example, we can gradually limit the vertical area to a height of 10 centimeters, approximately 3 inches. This way, we generate a cross-section through the point cloud. We have taken it at a height of 9.9 .9 meters and can hereby, in example, check if the registration of the point cloud was correct. Another feature is the individual adaption of the sky dome. That means the display background in the picture can be changed at any time to your liking. Under the tab 3D view, you can choose from different backgrounds or use your own one, including your company logo, for example. PointCab, all point clouds, one software.